Welcome in PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to insert multiple rules using PHP, MySQL, and uh, jQuery append. So let's start. I already uh, linked two CDN. One is for Bootstrap. One and another is for jQuery. So I'm going to create a simple from using Bootstrap. You can use a simple CSS for create your uh, uh, create your form. This is not manda mandatory. I'm going to just create a container and then taking go then taking a call md12 then taking a from this from action will be action dot php and method will be post and in this from i'm going to take two input fields one is for one is for uh, name I will send multiple uh, data so I have to give here name as array so I have just uh, given a array in here the same I am going to duplicate and use another field called A's this field name for name and this input field for A's I am going to give two class to bootstrap class called from control copy this line paste it in here and going to take two button one button for submit and this button should have a, a class name button button info bootstrap class name and same button I am creating for add more add more And if we see the output, this output will be localhost php multiple add.php. It will look like this. So I'm going to give a beer tech because for giving a space for this button. So there is two button called submit and add more. So when we'll click on add add more, it should be give. Uh, uh, more uh, it should append um, uh, this uh, two field again and again but now when we will click in here it is going to action.php so we have to prevent this action so for prevent this action I am going to use jQuery so we already uh, attached uh, jQuery CDN in here so I am going to start jQuery in here I am going to just dollar sign document dot ready function and in here when we click on add more button so I'm going to give a ID for add more button and giving the name button when we will select this button when we click in here then uh, function And this function I'm going to take a parameter called e then we will prevent this default so I'm going to write this pre dot e dot prevent default method now after save if we see the output if we click on add more it will not going anywhere that means that uh, we have prevent the default action so now our next step when we click in here this uh, input field will be append so I'm going to here and going to when where we will append this uh, name and age. So for that I'm going to take a div uh, call uh, append section F AP section and going to finish it in here. So this is my section that I want to append uh, again and again. So I'm going to copy this line and in here. I'm going to take my class name called app section app section and going to append this is the append method jQuery append method I'm going to give a single quote and pass the code this name and is and removing the space so 
so after finished everything if we see output after click on add more we are seeing nothing because there should be some problem in here mm. this is the age app section class name this okay oh there has a period for class for class selection for class selection and now if we see the output we are seeing that uh, this uh, input fields are appending so next step should be when we will submit this from after click on submit this form will be submitted in action.php so here I am going to grab this uh, array value so for that I am going to take a data and using the post and to see the post uh, post uh, all data we I am going to use the bar dump to see the array and using a pre tag in here pre tag and after save if we reload this page and take two section one is for name and is and the for name and is and if we submit we are seeing this data is an array and there is two array one is name and this name has also two uh, array index one is for zero and one and this name is uh, giving the output like this and here is the another for age so you will uh, we have to prepare this uh, array for submit it in here submit it in here there is a database i already created in test test in my database and there has a table called students a student has three fields name id name and age and id is here auto incremented and name and age so i'm going to empty this uh, data table and going to uh, going here and at first i'm going to connect our database uh, with our script so going to take a variable called con and my sql i underscore connect and here we have to give four parameter first a local host that means host name second one is username that is root and in my root there is no the password so i'm going to keep it empty and the last one is my database name so this is very informal database connection that i have uh, actually given in here the next thing we have to do i am using a for loop to insert our database so for this for loop i am going to start from zero and uh, where it will uh, how many time it will iterate so we have to give the max value in here so for for uh, take this max value what we can do i am just going to give, take a variable count and going to count how many time user has submitted the name so php has a uh, function called count i'm taking this function and save so this count this time the array will be execute and then here i'm going to take sql this sql I will take from here I'm going to submit a empty insert and then copy this line and paste it in here and then removing the ID because I don't need ID and also from value and going to give curly braces and I'm going to here put global scope global scope post and then post first uh, array will be uh, name so i'm going to paste here name and second will be the index this name index this name has two index zero and one so we can put this zero and one using this i this, that means this for loop i i'm going to paste it in here and same thing i'm going to copy this line and paste it in here and giving the change the array name uh, with ace and going to execute this as sql with this connection and there is a method in uh, mysql i call query 
going to put this query and giving the name SQL and there is a um, semicolon after this uh, SQL this semicolon is not essential I'm going, going to remove it and if we save everything if everything is okay then uh, there is nothing I'm going to empty this table now there is nothing so now if we reload this space that should be inserting here then you can see there is two inserted ID two inserted data so now go back if we just reload again take two or three taking a bill taking a name and age taking a name also a age taking a name also a age now submit we can see the array because we just printed it and the submitted has succeeded so this is actually today's tutorial we can also do it for using uh, for each loop I'm going to give this example so if you just write like this for each loop and this for each loop you can use this variable like this variable as key and value now if you just copy this for loops inner mm, code and paste it in here same thing in here this is key and this key you have to put it in here I just uh, going to remove this uh, replace this key to I then save everything and same thing happened in here we just reload it and it will save I just going to uh, again empty the table this is the empty table now submit again now see that has been submitted so you can do many ways uh, to insert this multiple data in your MySQL table so this is actually today's tutorial thanks for watching